Hey, good evening, YouTube. Brew by me, back again. How y'all doing? Good, good, good. I hope. Back with another beer from Blainville, Quebec. Yeah. So that means it's another Boreal beer. Which Boreal beer is this time? Do 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 do. It is the Boreal Doré, which is a honey beer. Rings in at 4.8% ABV. Your standard polar bear cap. Uh, this comes in that mixer pack I was talking about with the cuvee, the IPA, the Roos, which is a red, uh, the wheat, which is or the white, which is a white beer. Um, there's the regular, I think, or the blonde. There's a couple more in there, so I'm gonna use my Samuel Adams glass because it's up here. Let's give it a pour. So there you have it, Boreal Doré, 4.8% ABV. Color, golden yellow, piss color, whatever you want to call it. Lots, lots and lots of carbonation, you know, one finger ahead, small tight bubbles, very, very crystal clear. Let's give it a smell. It smells like a beer. A little bit of honey there. Some sweet malts, a slight bit of biscuit, some cut grass. That's about it. It's pretty, it's pretty uh, simple. So let's dive into her and give her a taste. Let's see what you think. Nice little bit of sweetness up front. Um, take a swig of it. That's what you get at the tip of your tongue. As it slides across the back, there's not much there. A slight bit of floral um, of bitterness. At the back end, it dries up fairly nice, so it's nice and dry. It's fairly easy drinking, fairly sessionable. Um, you know, there's no off flavors, but. Uh, it's just like I said. It's it's Boreal is a huge uh, craft brewery in Quebec, in Blainville, Quebec, and their beers are much better than the macros you get, but not as good as some of the craft beers you can get. So you know they're kind of in in between, the middle of the road, so to speak. Um, Would I drink their beer? Yeah. Would I buy their beer again? Only if there's one that I haven't really tried. I'd pick it up to, to review it or whatever, but uh, other than that, if somebody gives me one, I'll drink it, but I don't think I'd buy it again. It's just, there's so many beers out there and so many more beers that have more flavor, more oomph, more character, more this, more that than than a lot of beers and you know uh, I'm the type of person that uh, as a home brewer I brew my own beers to what I like and uh, I should do another review of my home brews there's some new ones in the fridge I might do that next time uh, but I am a home brewer and I have my personal likes and my personal tastes and I'm always willing to try any beer any beer on the face of the earth I'll try and I'll tell you honest to God I'll tell you, or honestly, I'll tell you, if I like it or if I don't like it. And, um, you know, unfortunately, you guys haven't seen that many beers that I don't like, uh, more beers that I like, or more beers that are okay, you know. Um, but I haven't really, I'm, I'm not willing to go out to the beer store and buy the, the, the beer at the beer store when I make my beer, my own beer, and my beer is better, you know, so. If you want me to review those beers at the beer store, you can send me one if you buy a pack and I'll go from there. But, uh, you know, I'm just not that. I, I, the beer store here is very expensive. Where a case of Corona 
you know, Corona. 4.5% alcohol by volume. It's a Mexican Cerveza. They're wanting 50 bucks. 50 bucks Canadian for a 2 4 of Corona. When I can go over the border in Quebec and pick it up for half that price. Or I can go down to the States and even get it for even lesser. You know what I mean? It, it's just the price of beer in Canada is ridiculous. And, you know, so that's why I make my own. And um, I do small beer hauls here and there to pick up beers I'd like to try and stuff. And I do a lot of beer trades, and that's how I get a lot of my you know, beers that I have to review. Anyhow, I don't want to get too much into a story here. It's just, anyways, I want to get back to the beer, so. So, Boreal. It's, it's a passing beer. It's an okay beer. Um, you know, it's just one of those meh beers. Um, so if you want to try it, to go give it a whirl and give it a try and let me know what you think. Um, you know, I don't mind it. Um, you know, nothing horrible about it, nothing great about it. It's just a beer. Um, you know, you do pick up a slight bit of the malt. You do pick up a slight bit of the uh, honey. And that's about it. So uh, there you have it. Uh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to get him in the video, but I didn't expect him to run down in the middle of the room. Anyways, I can't edit that, so too bad, so sad. Um, yeah, so, you know. It's, uh, there's some two row in there, some caramel crystal malts in there. Some floral earthy hops in there. And yeah, it's, it's, it's a decent beer. And if you want to try something better than macro, go ahead, find this, give it a try. It's widely distributed in Quebec through Dipinara's grocery stores, Beer de Monde, Bruhaha, they all have it. So, go get it. Try it. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Brew By Me is out. I'm coming back. I'm back. I'm going to come back. Yes. Bye-bye.